you know, when I walked into the, the room today, I didn't really know where to where to go because there was like so many people and I was, yeah. you know, kind of nervous and I didn't know and I like really knew that like because we were going to be with a group of people all day the next two days, like I really wanted to make sure that I met people that I connected with. Yeah, just because of how much like documentary film means to me, like it felt very high stakes and like I just couldn't like switch that part of my brain off because like, so yeah, it felt more nerve wracking than I feel like it should. <laughs> um, um, yeah. I'm... I feel like a lot was like almost writing on this. Yeah. Um, I've been in a place because I just moved where I just haven't felt like connected to anything and I really wanted that. I've felt like I haven't had time to like freely, fully commit myself to film mm -hmm. um, all this time. And like, I, that was another reason why I wanted to come back to London because I just wanted to just have more opportunities and like more access to kind of film stuff. I think like in my head, there's a, there's a future where I have it all, but like when I'm like only living in my head, I think that's when things are worse because I don't, I'm not actually living in my reality. You know, I'm not, like I have to remind myself I'm in London. This is like what I have to offer, you know? Yeah. This is what the city has to offer me. So like I need to actually like live, live in that. Having grown up and becoming just like a little bit less um, anxious, self-conscious, concerned, feeling like everything I do is like do or die. London feels less like a place where I need to like make it. <laughs> London feels less just like this towering thing. Like I remember when I was younger and I would walk through like the streets of London and like the buildings just felt so tall. I always thought like anything to do with Central was like, I'm not allowed to be there. Like that's not where I I am allowed to be. Those are the people who like did well, who, um, or like who were sensible and like got the real jobs and stuff. And I'm just like teaching English online. I still have like that in the back of my mind and things feel like too high, more high stakes than I want them to be, but it's less, it's less, I feel like less delusional. And I think it's quite common that like when you're, when you're kind of like starting out in a big city at that yeah. age, like to feel like that. But yeah, I don't know. Do you like? I do um, feel like I'm in an age where everything feels really high stakes. Cause I, I don't know, I'm 24 and I decided to pursue filmmaking like a year ago. You know, to me that's late. So yeah, I feel like now I'm like kind of scrambling to to make something of myself. And so yeah, everything just feels very high stakes. And so I think I can't like relax. Yeah. Which I think maybe that's what's keeping me from kind of really enjoying what London has to offer and like yeah. calming down and really just like being in this reality, being in this city. It's just like what's happening in my head. It's just about meeting people and connecting to people. Cause I think the more that I connect with like other people and the more that I connect with community, especially creative community and people who I like have common interests with, the more I feel connected to myself, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think ultimately that's the most important thing. Cause I think if I don't feel grounded in anything, that's because I don't feel, I don't feel connected to myself. Cause I'm not connected to what's around me. So yeah, I think like coming, putting myself out there and like coming to the dock in the day event mm -hmm that was like, you know, that's helpful. And like, yeah. you know, it doesn't have to be anything like profound, like this doesn't have to be the most amazing thing no. ever, but it's like, <laughs> it's helpful to just like talk to people who, yeah, have common interests. What about yeah. for you? For me, it is like, just like having the confidence to like really take myself seriously as someone who wants to make documentary is like a big deal. Cause I'm, I feel like I'm bad at that. So it is like, it is kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm just like proud of myself for having done this. I really like that you can, there are so many things like this and like it makes, it makes wherever you are feel a bit more like a playground when you mm. kind of, start doing that like yeah. I, the, the more you do it like it, it everything feels as high stakes and you kind of feel like you can just kind of like hop into things and like you're like part of london mm -hmm. by like doing things like this